two veteran Fullerton, California police officers have been charged with second de degree murder and also uh, involuntary manslaughter in the case of Kelly Thomas. Now, we did this story uh, about a month ago. Kelly Thomas is a schizophrenic homeless man who was literally beaten to death. He was tased to death. Uh, he was unconscious when he arrived in the hospital, and then they decided to take him off life support because he could not regain consciousness. Now, the officers involved in that case were Officer Manuel Ramos. He has been charged with second degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. And the second uh, police officer involved is Jay uh, Cicinelli. He's charged with excessive force and also involuntary manslaughter. There's uh, something wrong with that Cicinelli guy's face. Like, there's like. Well, he's going around beating people up. Who knows what other situations he's found himself in? No, no. He, he looks like the kind of guy that would have done this exact crime. Uh, among the things they did to this guy, who was, of course, unarmed and actually had not done any crime, they just found him at a bus stop. Somebody had complained that somebody was messing around with the cars. They and don't know that it was him at all. They just came up and Ramos started threatening him. And in the midst of that attack, that crazy clown, uh, crazy eyed killer, that uh, cop that we, just, yes. that we just showed you. Uh, uh, tased the guy four different times and then started bashing his skull in with the taser. Yeah. And by the way, together, they tased the guy's face eight times. On top of the four tasers to the body, including to the heart. And then, gee, I wonder why he died. I mean, they brutally attacked him. Right. Hospital records show that he had brain injuries, a shattered nose, a smashed cheekbone, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. So they really beat him up. And look, of course, uh, these two police officers need to hire attorneys to d defend them. And I understand that an attorney's role is to defend them. But uh, the attorney involved is a man by the name of John Barnett, uh, or Barnett. And he actually was involved in the Rodney King case. He was defending the police officers involved in the Rodney King case. And I just want to read you his quote, because I think it's ridiculous. He says, police officers who risk their lives daily now have to be concerned with being charged in the courtroom for simply performing their duties. So an unarmed homeless guy who, by the way, at the time, in the beginning, was screaming, please stop, I'll do anything you want. Help me, Dad. That's what he started screaming. Had to be tased in the face eight times. That's your normal duties as a police officer. If that's what you think your duties are as a police officer, well, then I'm incredibly glad that you're fired and you're in jail, and I hope you're in jail for a long, long time. And if us describing it doesn't do justice, let's look at the picture. This is uh, Kelly Thomas after he was beaten up by the police officers as he's laying down in the hospital oh bed. Oh, my God. And by the end, of course, he was not responding as they continued to pummel him. And they, the witnesses said he was lying in a pool of blood as they continued to hit him over and over again. If, that, if that's what you think is the normal line of duty for police officers, you've got a really twisted view of it. Uh, and again, if you're a police officer, man, these guys are an enormous, uh, you know, they do enormous damage to all of you. Uh, you shouldn't want these guys out in the street, man. You should want them locked up. It doesn't do you any good to protect these guys. These guys are scum.